Well, hello there, guys. We're playing another Graviteam Tactics battle. This time, we are playing on the African front, uh, actually, specifically Angola, and we are actually playing as UNITA, uh, trying to stop the MPLA assault. Now, the interesting part is in the first part of this campaign, you only really get uh, infantry units as UNITA. Later on, you do get some South African support uh, with tanks, etc., but we're basically defending here in a very jungly area uh, what is probably going to be an MPLA attack here. I uh, don't know where it's coming from, but we've got men on the scene ready to go. And of course, as soon as we engage the enemy, guys, we're going to show you guys what's going to happen. Now, since this, uh, in this particular battle, in this particular war, uh, the machinery is much better, the technology is much better than in World War II, I'm going to go ahead and spread these guys out, because I think that with their AKs, they can probably cover a larger area, although nobody likes to fight in the jungle, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, of course, we're just going to go ahead and lay low here, um, and let the enemy come to us. It looks like it's early morning, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and maybe even some rain on the way. Um, see some, some fog, but it doesn't necessarily mean rain, but we'll see if our Onita troops can hold out against the MPLA attack uh, and take Angola back. We'll have to wait and see, guys. All right, guys, we're getting sporadic uh, reports of enemy contact in the areas ahead of us. We haven't spotted them yet. Um, we're just getting sort of like a quick sight um, just enough to kind of identify a target, uh, but in general, they're still, you know, evasive, they remain elusive, and it's hard to find these guys. So I'm keeping our guys right where they are. I might take Boa Vida, which uh, actually in Portuguese means good life, um, and we're going to go ahead and attack forward here. Uh, maybe we'll find some enemy contacts, and maybe we can respond in kind. Um, I want to make sure, though, that these guys are going to remain parallel with the rest of our line so we get some good shots. And already, I'm seeing an enemy APC. We have no vehicles. Um, so I'm hoping that our guys have some RPGs. I do believe they have RPGs equipped uh, and that they can take out some of those enemy vehicles or at least put up some resistance. Uh, but the gunfight is going to be, I think, a ways away. We'll have to wait and see. Ooh, that vehicle's getting way closer. The gunfire begins, guys, and again, we're being assaulted by enemy, um, looks like some enemy APC units and some enemy infantry. I don't know if we have the equipment to stop them, but I hope we do. So the gunfight has begun in the jungle, and right now our guys are taking pretty calculated shots. Um, they're not just blasting the area with gunfire, which is good, um, but pretty soon here, especially since the enemy's on the road, they can actually commence that. There we go. You're getting some shots. Wonderful. Find your targets, men. go that's an AKM is an AKM the uh, Soviet machine gun remember the uh, these units are getting their uh, their equipment from the Soviets and there we go nice ambush there we hit the enemy truck the enemy truck is down um, but we still got enemy APC units here um, and I believe these are the South African APC units if I'm not mistaken oh my goodness look at that here we go boys the fight of our lives has begun if we get captured by the MPLA there's no doubt we'll be tortured uh, and possibly killed. I don't think they're going to be very kind to their prisoners. Especially not Unita ones. But they are advancing quickly. Uh, I want to respond to the situation as quickly as I can. But it looks like even our position over here is compromised. There's some enemy attacks. That is not good. Ooh, sorry about that. So I want to try to grab these guys and bring them on over. Let's go ahead and attack here. I don't think they can make it in time. But any help they can give is going to really improve our odds here. This situation here. That's definitely a grenade contact for sure. And MPLA is moving into this location very quickly. Get them, boys, get them. Got a lot of machine guns here. We need to put them all to work. guys here on the side, like the Almeida, you can see they've got a lot of men, they're firing at the position, and we're just trying to just build up those, those casualties. Um, I almost feel like charging forward, but I think staying right here in this line is actually perfect. Uh, if you see any enemies approach there on the ridge, we can fire at them. It looks like that guy just got hit, though. Holy crap. That was nasty. He's just wounded. Oh, this guy is taking cover as well. We've got a lot of wounded men there um, on the field. We need to keep returning fire. 
can't forget about these guys, Mantarosa and uh, Itona there. Let's see if they can't get some nice hits. And let's see how our boys are doing over here on the left side. So this looks much better for us. It's mostly just enemy infantry contacts. See our men firing there. Make some good effective shots on them. We might be able to take a few of them down before they make it here. But I'm mostly concerned about this massive group here. And so far, we're getting a lot of good crossfire, but I don't know what we can do about the APCs. Killing one of these would make my day, of course. Oh no, that's actually not a South African APC. That's a good old regular APC here. Might even be Soviet. Um, I know Nisa also contracted with the Soviets initially before they started working with the South Africans, um, making the change from capitalism to communism, or communism to capitalism, excuse me. Not really much thought. And actually, some Cuban troops, for sure. Um, definitely Cuban troops. So there, they now approach our lines, and they are advancing with that armor. I think that's going to push the crew and stop us. Guys, RPG, somebody get a damn RPG. Oh, one of our guys is moving up on board bus company. They might just be moving up for a more effective shot on the enemy. Oh, he shot. Yeah, that's rough. Here we go, we're firing with the Almeida. He's really the only guy I want to shoot. Could just be his engine backfiring a bit. All the board is gone. We probably lost some units on the front there. These guys are still alive. And I don't think those tanks or two of those APCs are going to have um, much luck trying to traverse this jungle. So we've already gotten a few kills on enemy infantry here in this jungle, but we've definitely lost more men, without a doubt. Um, you know, with that support that they have, we're bound to lose more men. Look at that. A nice chunk of enemy support here. The Almeida holding me down. Keep it up, the Almeida. One of the guys trying to cross here. You can see um, MPLA trying to cross the field as quickly as they can. Our gunshots are ringing out past them. Got to try to get a hit. And there, that guy took cover. Not the best place to take cover, friend. You should keep moving. Don't let me stop you, though. Nice. Beautiful fire there. Some of the enemy infantry here is way too close for comfort. He's actually hit. You see him holding his arm there. So he's wounded. And he could be a casualty very soon here. A dead casualty. Fortunately, I think over here the APC has won. Our only hope is to basically try and take out as many of the enemy infantry as possible. So I'm ordering Boavita to attack. That's simple. They're not going to expect us to attack. They're going to expect us to stay put. Um, so let's go ahead and attack their line and see if we can't break it ourselves. Doesn't look like my men are too willing to follow my instructions, not to mention a lot of them are tech. There we go, that was definitely a hit on the enemy vehicle. Is that an RPG? Something hit her. Um, wasn't enough to kill her, but I think he definitely hit that vehicle. He's taking shots from multiple angles here. I'm hoping that the crew will bail just from being scared. That can definitely happen in this game. Um, basically, you just lower the morale of the enemy so much with gunfire that they bail. And I think it's happening now. Yep. Pretty sure, unless we just lost contact. But I think the enemy's bailing. Although they did take the position, so maybe not. No, I spoke too soon. But we have to keep firing on that thing. That's a hit. That is an RPG for sure. That is definitely an RPG hit. That little explosion you saw. But we're mostly hitting this thing just with machine gun fire. Come on, come on, boys. Ooh! 
that is an RPG. Come on, aim better. I'm gonna kill this thing. That gunfire is going to keep most of our men down, unfortunately. Let's see how the attack is going here. This is basically a suicide attack. But it seems to be getting some pretty good shots with it, so let's keep it up. Ooh. So they've got some actual uh, nice guns here on this thing. We're still moving across with these guys. Um, we've managed to kill a lot of the infantry here on the left side near Guando 2. And now we're advancing with the rest of our infantry here, guys, uh, onto the location where the enemy is currently uh, attacking our men. We're losing a lot of commanders here, as you can imagine. We're trying to hold this position, but we're doing our damnedest uh, to stop the enemy. Right now, all that is is trying to kill as many as possible. Remember, in the early parts of the battle of the war here, um, Unita definitely did not have the resources needed, but once the South Africans stepped in and provided those resources, uh, things changed dramatically. We're not at that stage, though. The South Africans have not joined in, but one thing that has happened, thank goodness, is we finally got that damn APC. Look at that. Uh, she's not burning, so that means we're probably going to be able to take her for our own military uses, but the crew definitely abandoned her behind our lines. And being a vehicle crew behind enemy lines... I wish them the best. Keep it up, boys. This is actually looking quite good. All those gray dots you guys see are enemy casualties. And maybe there's another APC here. There is. Unbelievable here, guys. So we're taking out these APCs. We're taking out the uh, infantry. And this is great. We're actually doing a very good job. Unfortunately, that attack did not work. Uh, and these units are pretty finished. But the enemy is still firing in that area, as you can see here from the overhead view. Uh, trying to hit the uh, retreating Boavista. Believe me, Boavista has no no interest in continuing the fight, so you don't have to cause him to retreat there. But we need to be still be careful. There's still some uh, MPLA troops hiding out here. And, of course, the enemy vehicles. At this point, I would accept the ceasefire. Too much blood has been spilled already, and I think our men need a rest. Don't forget, guys, that with these Grab Team Tactics videos, YouTube almost 100% of the time will not monetize them uh, because of the content, you know, these uh, Cold War scenarios and World War II scenarios. Uh, they just don't, they just refuse to monetize. So you can always hit the Twitch link that I'm going to put in the description. And from there, you can actually donate by hitting the kitty cat down below and uh, choosing the payment method of your choice. Uh, the kitty cat's pretty nice, pretty friendly guy, but uh, if you don't donate enough, you will rip your eyes out. Uh, that's just a suggestion, of course. <laughs> Here we go, guys. We're continuing forward. And now we are truly in jungle combat. Um, basically just exchanging rounds with the enemy. It doesn't seem like the enemy has been exchanging many shots with us. So we may consider this a victory already. This guy's not even afraid. The combo is just like, eh, we've already killed all the MPLA. Or excuse me, the, uh, yes, the MPLA troops. Keep it up, boys. Yelmate is being overrun right now. One of them is still alive in the company. For the platoon, I should say. And yeah, these are definitely Cuban soldiers advancing. So the Cubans are directly involved at this point. And these guys have hardly no ammo left. I think it says six. So yeah, they're almost out of ammo with made a squad. You better get their bearings or they're gonna get shot. The Cubans are masters of cover here. Enemies asking for a ceasefire. Considering they've lost a ton of APCs at this point, a number of infantry units, etc., and we control almost none of the field. I don't want to accept a ceasefire. We control that area, but I kind of want to try and take this location back. Uh, so I think I'm going to wait on the ceasefire for now and keep on attacking. Uh, we're also surrounded by a lot of enemies here in the jungle. 
this is the scary part about the jungle. You often don't see the enemy until you're right on top of them. Um, we learned that in the Vietnam War as the United States. I want to at least take one of those positions before accepting any sort of uh, ceasefire. And don't, don't forget that, especially in these wars, um, you know, the South African border war, ceasefires are commonplace and often not followed anyway. So, um, you know, in the true scheme of things, this probably wouldn't make much of a difference. The ceasefire would be very, very, very light, and we return to fighting very soon. Uh, but I think it's time to get our wounded off the field, not before we attack with Moore. Oh! Just wasted one of Moore's units. He just buzzed him in half with a machine gun. Sawed him in half with that machine gun. We need our men to return fire. Want some prisoners? Oh boy, we got an enemy APC there. Yeah, I think it's time to accept that ceasefire. That thing is gonna be tough, so we will take the ceasefire. Only because the APC has just appeared. I wanted to try to get as many infantry kills as possible, but that APC there, it's going to be a lot harder. Total victory. Yeah, baby. You can see there we lost 26 men. We had 10 wounded, but we killed 33 enemies and 11 wounded. Vehicles lost. Uh, damaged. Two of the enemy vehicles damaged. So they were damaged, actually. Um, I thought they were undamaged and the crew just bailed, but no. We actually managed to really hurt the enemy. You can just see with all of the little gray spots all over the, the map here um, that this battle was a bloodbath and a really nice, um, nice viewing of uh, jungle warfare and its effects. Um, it looks like if you guys want to take a look at the round that killed the APC, uh, it's an 85mm PG-7. Uh, so we need to find out what that is. That might be the round used by an RPG. I I'm a rocket-propelled grenade. I'm, again, not very sure. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to support Graviteam Tactics as much as you can, and keep up the love with the likes and comments. Look at all the enemy troops that still remain. If you guys want to see more battles in Operation Hooper, make sure to let me know in the comments down below, and try to specify who you want us to play as. As you can see here, the Onita troops were advancing en masse, uh, but we may ca mainly came into contact with uh, their Cuban military advi advisors, quote-unquote, uh, because those Cuban military advisors were openly engaging us. Um, and we got them. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Ooh, look at that beautiful machine gun. Yeah, we definitely did not want to deal with that. Take care, my friends.